I feel like there are not many occasions in a year to wear glitter, but Mayball is definitely one of them. <laughs> everybody and um, welcome back to my channel today is Wednesday and we're still following on from my last vlog my birth week vlog as I'm calling it in a very very extra kind of way um, we had early birthday celebrations last night so Tuesday night um, went out for dinner at Giggling Squid which was really lovely but my actual birthday isn't until Friday but I won't be in Cambridge because I'm going to see Ed Sheeran in Wembley which is why we've decided to celebrate as friends early on in this week because I'm in Cambridge as you guys will know by now if you've been following my vlogs um, it's actually 27 degrees today I always talk about the weather because we rarely get good weather in the UK but we are finally getting good weather and what a perfect time to have it during my birth week um, and for those of you who are eagle eyed you might notice I am wearing a swimming costume because we are going to go to Grandchester and try and swim in the River Cam now I tried to do this last year realised the water was deeper than I thought it was and there was nothing to grab onto panicked and climbed out so hopefully I can do a little bit better than last year but if not I will just sunbathe on the banks um, and we've also got Pembroke Mayball tonight so we did buy Pembroke tickets two years ago um, obviously it got postponed because of Covid and rolled over again and they emailed us all to say we were entitled to tickets because we had bought them two years ago so if we wanted to renew our tickets we got first dibs so we are all going to Pembroke Mayball as well having had Jesus Mayball on the Monday so it's a very very busy week for celebrations but I am not complaining because after two years of postponed celebrations due to Covid I really feel like we deserve this time to celebrate our degree being done even though I graduated two years ago so I'm just waiting now for the others to return I've got Isha uh, Will and Tim are all coming out with me today. We've all booked the week off work, whereas everybody else is working today and then coming to the ball this evening. But we wanted to make the most of the good weather and head out. So just waiting for that car to arrive and then we're going to go collect our tickets and our wristbands for Pembroke and head on to Grandchester Meadows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Welcome. It is now time to start getting ready for Mayball round two. I am so excited. As ever, I've left myself two hours to get ready. And I think I've learned from the mistakes of the last Mayball. And I think I'm gonna bring like a canvas bag with my glasses and a spare pair of shoes in because my heels were killing my feet literally the whole night out because especially when you're up dancing you've been standing and queuing for a long time and you want to keep going but your feet are like no please give me a break let me sit so i would like to wear my heels for the pictures obviously at the start of the night i want to look nice but i think definitely after the first few hours i want to have my flat comfy thick soled pair of shoes to change into so i can keep dancing all night and not have to sit and at jesus may ball i did end up walking around barefoot which was so disgusting like the floor is so sticky and cold and there were just bits of food and things and drink on the floor so i do not want to be walking through gross carpets and concrete courts again with bare feet so definitely think i've learned from my mistake of the past and i can also shove my cardigan or my jacket in my bag as well so top tip for anybody attending future may balls make sure to bring a canvas bag with a jacket and a spare pair of shoes I'm ready for Pembroke May Ball and feeling super, super excited. I'm so glad I went with the glitzy eye look. If I give you a bit of a close up, don't mind me. Um, this is the look for tonight. It kind of matches the purples and blues in my dress and a nice sort of silvery white sparkle glitter. I love an excuse to wear glitter and I feel like there are not many occasions in a year to wear glitter, but May Ball is definitely one of them. So feeling very, very glam. I think. We're going to book a taxi now and head. We're going to be extremely early, but want to try and get to the front of the standard queue so we can be straight in and miss the queues for all the food stalls because it does get very busy and you do have to wait a while. And we are very, very hungry and eager people. So, yeah, I'm going to head now, dash for my taxi, and I'll see you when I get there. Oh, it's like saying I could eat a horse with a little bit less. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, someone take a picture. Tickets. Hello. <laughs> nice. Well, you can't even see you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just putting this away. Right? Yes. Great. So this one will be mine and this one will be yours. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. <laughs> Tight. Put your hand on top and squeeze and put your hand below and squeeze and yours on top and squeeze and yours below and squeeze. Come yep. on, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. One on top, one below. Hey, come on. Today. And squeeze come on, the ball. Yep. Squeeze the ball. Walk and squeeze. Walk and squeeze. Squeeze the Squeeze the Squeeze the ball. Now, if I do this movement, any yeah. chance your ball has vanished? There's no way. I've no, it's very tight. <laughs> <time. laughs> I'm screaming so hard. Carol, safeguarding is more difficult. Yeah. I take my ball and throw it in her beautiful eyes. There's two yeah. turns around the head. <laughs> Shake the hair. Shake the hair, baby. Shake the hair. Use the arm to penetrate all your hands. Did you feel the penetration? <laughs> do you feel it? <laughs> do you feel it? This experiment works and my ball should have vanished. The minute this experiment works, she has become a magical vehicle to allow this experiment to work. Who has the most magical blow in the group? Must be you. Right, okay. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
into city centre for brunch. I am not particularly hungry. I think I was still eating at about four o'clock in the morning at Mabel last night. So I'm just gonna get a smoothie or a drink or something or a coffee because I'm feeling very, very tired and just not up for food. I'm more up for sleep right now, but I'm making the most of my last day in Cambridge and then we're gonna head home. I think Isha's gonna drive me back. What a legend. Big shout out to Isha because the trains are off due to strikes which has complicated my plans a little bit and then tomorrow is my birthday I keep forgetting tomorrow is my birthday and I'm going to see Ed Sheeran so I want a good night's sleep in tonight and to like wash my clothes and plan properly for tomorrow and just like you know get get prepared and sort sort of fight this fatigue I'm facing today because I'm really struggling after a week of Mayballs and celebrations so yeah definitely need to recuperate I'll tell you properly about Pembroke Mayball once I get back home but for now just spending the, the rest of my time with the friends and and making the most of the day I am back home from my crazy week in Cambridge and my goodness it has been the best, most fun, most tiring week of my life but I'm so glad we did it. I'm so glad we did the two Mabels, I'm glad I got my birthday dinner in, 
but I'm glad I got a trip to Grandchester and then finally jumped in the River Cam, which I've always wanted to do, but I'm so chicken about it. Like, I'm always like, no, it's gonna be so cold and I can't swim that well. And I always talk myself out of doing it, but I managed to do it this time round. And it kind of felt like our final farewell to Cambridge in a way. So I kind of feel a bit sad. Like, I know that sounds silly, but obviously this was a week worth of post-exam celebrations we were meant to have two years ago and we finally got it now and it, it just felt like the final goodbye. Um, obviously it's not the last time we'll ever be in Cambridge and things but it did feel like the last hurrah to our uni days and you know we're all adults now so I think it's going to get a lot harder going forwards to find you know multiple consecutive days to meet up or whole weeks off work um, where we can all do things like this so it was nice that we got this final chance all of us together every single one to do the May balls, do the walks, the dinners, the celebrations like it should have been two years ago um, and yeah I'm really really happy it's it's like bittersweet but very very happy it's my birthday tomorrow as well but I am feeling really exhausted um so I'm gonna have to catch up on my sleep tonight um especially for Ed Sheeran and what else I did want to tell you about Pembroke Mabel which I haven't done yet it was so fun so I don't know if you know but the theme was wild card this year I can't remember if I've said that or not um and it was such a great theme, like for decorations, there were lots of like cards and there was a poker, like a casino activity. They had like fun fair games and amusements, like mini golf or like, you know, the ones where you've got to throw a ball and knock the coconuts off. And yeah, it was just a really, really clever theme. Um, lent itself well to a May ball. The food was really good. Um, they had paella and tacos, chips, uh, mac and cheese, which is always a highlight at a May ball. It's not a May ball without mac and cheese. They have bao buns. I'm really glad I got to try the tofu bao bun because I didn't get to try it at Jesus May ball and they had something similar, but the queue was just huge and then they ran out. So that was great. Crosstown donuts. Oh, they had the tastiest crosstown donuts ever. Strawberry cheesecake, I think, was one of them, and the Mississippi mud pie. That was really good. Aromi was there, which is a small Italian family-run business in Cambridge and a personal favourite of mine. I always get Aromi when I go back to Cambridge and they have these amazing, like, mini deep-fried pizzas. Like, so Aromi was at Jesus May Ball, but they just had the arancini balls, whereas here they had these just, oh, delicious. They had a margarita one and a vegan one and I tried both and they were just so good. I could have eaten a whole truckload of them. And then, like, mini pastries as well, like pistachio and chocolate and cakes and... Oh, oh, and um, what do you call them? Cannolis. I love cannolis. They're like my favourite, so I had two of those as well. It was just, yeah, it was a really good night. The music was incredible. A lot of really good cover bands like The Killers and Arctic Monkeys. Their headlining act, Jay Gray, was really, really impressive. Like, she was very, very funny. He had a great stage presence. Was handing out shots at, at the ball. Um, the atmosphere was really good. I must admit, like, I had a great time at both Jesus and Pembroke, and Jesus is one of the absolute standout balls of all of Cambridge, it always will be. But I was pleasantly surprised with how brilliant Pembroke was, because it's a lot smaller college than Jesus is. And yet it felt like they had so much to do, so much to see, they had really great choice of drink and food. There were enough courts, like courtyards, to wander around that made it feel like there was always something new to go and explore. And um, the silent disco is the highlight of my night because we didn't do it at Jesus May Ball because we thought, oh, we've done it a lot in previous years. We want to really enjoy the food and the music. So I'm glad we got to do the silent disco here because it honestly was my best memory. I was having the best time there. Um, and then as well, like, because it was smaller, it felt less crowded and overwhelmed. Um, so I, I think I actually enjoyed my experience of the music artists a lot more because I didn't feel like I was being pushed or shoved or like eaten up by a crowd so that was really nice um, and actually made it to 5am this time to the survivors photo at the end of the night so really really great time I'm glad we did two balls because it didn't feel like I was done after the first one like I wanted to just keep partying and celebrating to make, make up for the lost time really now, I've been rambling on for five minutes, so I am going to go. Um, uh, congratulations if you've made it this far. <laughs>
<laughs> in my vlog. I hope you've enjoyed spending my Cambridge, po my postponed Cambridge May week with me and hopefully my birthday as well tomorrow. So thanks for watching everybody. Bye.